Hi, it's for us, Rahal. We're at OIS at ASRS in Chicago. We've had a great meeting all day today. It's nearing the end, uh, but a lot of great talks were given today. Michael O'Rourke, who's joining me right now from Rivana, gave one of those talks. It was wonderful. It was a good review of what Rivana is doing in the uh, drug delivery space. And uh, Michael, if you could, maybe given your experience in drug delivery, and, and I've been familiar with your history, of course, dating back to Vitrocert, yep. uh, given that context, and I'm not calling you old brother, okay. I, was, I was putting Vitrocerts in too, so we're back in the then. same boat, yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your take on the entire climate in retina or even glaucoma for extended duration action drugs or carrier devices, and, and how does Rivana fit into that? Sure. Well, th thank you for us, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk with you. <clears throat> so, yeah, I really did. I uh, <clears throat> started with the Chiron Vision back in 1995, and we actually launched the, the world's first ever inter intraocular sustained release device, which was Vitrocert, with Jancyclovir treating CMV, CMV retinitis. And that was really a breakthrough, because very few people were in retina then, and certainly few companies were in uh, retinal drug delivery. But we showed then that you could actually put an implant into the eye that could have a sustained effect to drugs to the back of the retina for between four and six months. So that was really you know, a pioneering uh, technology back then with Chiron. But then it took another nine years <clears throat> until the next technology came out and actually launched that with Bosch and Long back in the US, which was a retisert uh, containing fluorocinolone for non-infectious posterior uveitis. So over a 10-year period, there was only two products launched. Um, and then later, you know, Allegan came in with their Ozodex and a um, uh, uh, coming with Alluvian. But they've all been small molecule drugs. <clears throat> and since then, there's been a couple of new products. But, you know, the products that have been released today or launched today are all small molecule delivery. They're really all generic drugs, the steroids, maybe one antiviral, and that's it. So compared to other segments, you know, ocular drug delivery is very embryonic in, this, in the whole ophthalmic space. So my interest has really been, um, my primary interest has been how do you do the sustained release of biologics? <laughs> because we've seen the impact that uh, frequent injections can have in the eye. You know, there's now, what, 23, 24 million intravitreal injections every year, treating AMD and DME. But as you know, patients are needing to get this injection every month or every two months, so there's a, a dramatic need to reduce the frequency of these injections. So Ravana is a new company formed uh, from Belfast in Northern Ravana. Ireland, came out of Queen's University. And what Ravana found is using a bipolymer system, so it's PLGA plus one other polymer, by using a method called photocrosslinking, whereby we take ultraviolet light, 365 nanometer, and we photocrosslink the implant, we're actually able to deliver both large molecules and small molecules from one single platform. Mm -hmm. So with the large molecule delivery, we've taken anti-VEGF drugs like bevacizumab. We've conducted extensive proof of concept work. We've just finished a six month uh, PK and tolerability study. And we're actually showing with an anti-VEGF drug, we can deliver not only for up to four months, but we can also get sufficiently high drug loading, greater than 50%. That gives us a great opportunity to really deliver a therapeutic dose at the end of it. Because when you're, when you're looking at deliver, delivering a biologic, you need, you know, you need the right dose. You need to, to decide how long you're, how long you're going to deliver it for. But equally, you need a high drug loading because without that, you're not going to get a therapeutic effect. So one of the big accomplishments so far of Ravana has been to really demonstrate that we can get to four months without denaturing the proteins. Many of these drug, deli drug delivery devices historically have, have attempted this approach, but they've failed because the protein is denatured. What we do is with photocrosslinking with a bipolymer system. The fact we don't use acids, there's no elevated pHs, there's no organic solvents, the protein is actually protected. So with our results today, given our preclinical, we're actually reaching that four month period without seeing any detriment to the protein at all. But equally in the small molecule space, we've already had one strategic collaboration with NICOX, whereby we delivered two glaucoma drugs for an extended period of time. And we, and we met those milestones successfully. The other thing we can offer is with one single platform, we can deliver both small and large drugs. So we're quite unique in that aspect as well. That's very unique. In fact, I think it's the only one that I'm aware of. How have you been able to do that? What is, 
if you can do, if you can tell us, I know it's going to be scientifically potentially complicated, how is it that the same product can work so effectively for small and large molecules? Yeah. So this is a good question. So the way we can do that is the fact that, our, first of all, the polymer system is PLGA, which is used very frequently, but it's also a second polymer that, that gives us this flexibility to incorporate molecules into the, into the system. But what we do is with our, and it is a proprietary photo cross-linking method, and it's, it's the basis on which the company was founded, with their own technique. We, we essentially have a computer model whereby we enter in the target product profile that's required. So what dose is required, what's the size of the drug in kilodaltons, and how long do you want to deliver it for? And with that, we can actually predetermine what type of implant we want. But, it, but, it, but it's, it's the proprietary way of how we photo cross-link it is, the, is really the secret sauce of how we can really tailor the implant to the type of drug that's involved. So this really could be tailored, and I was going to ask that exact <laughs> word, to many drug sizes, and all in between as well. Well, that's right. So we, we like to talk about it as customization. So we can do small and large drugs, but we can also do drugs with different characteristics, like hydrophobic drugs, hydrophilic drugs, drugs with varying uh, degrees of solubility. So in, so in, in a sense, we, if, we, if we're given a molecule to look at, we have a team that can then determine exactly what is the best type of implant, what size of implant, what diameter, how long, you know, how big should it be. So <clears throat> the one thing about drug delivery is every molecule has to be considered on its own. Yeah. You can't say, you know, 10 different molecules, you're one system. So it's got to, you've got to have an individual analysis for yeah. every single drug that you, that you attempt. And we have done it with numerous large molecules. We've done bevacizumab, we've done ev albumin, we've done numerous steroids like triamcinolone and others. And you've, the, for the product that would be the putative product for the large molecule, let's say bevacizumab, are you proposing to use that in the same way we currently use standard intravitreal injection technique and just have a longer action, or is there going to be more involved in that procedure? So there's a couple of things here. I think, that for, you know, I, I clearly anti-VEGFs are still standard of care, and I, and I do believe that they have a long, a long duration, a, a long way to go in terms of the life cycle. So our first priority would be an anti-VEGF type drug within one of our one of our drug delivery systems, um, and that would be the drug we would want to go to the clinic with. But you're seeing a major change now <coughs> in drug delivery. Um, as I said earlier, all the products that have ever been launched have all been generic. Yeah. They've already been approved products. You're now seeing Big Pharma taking a much earlier approach to drug delivery, whereby they have their own novel therapeutics. We know we need different classes of drugs beyond anti-VEGF. So Big Pharma companies are now looking at drug delivery at a much earlier stage into the life cycle of the drug. Right, it has to do with the, <coughs> cynically speaking, the, the patent expiration will right. be coming due on so many of these and this may be a way for them to mitigate against that. Well, well I think so, but they've also got brand new novel therapeutics because sure. they're looking for different drugs. Great so, patient care. <laughs> and there are only really a handful of companies that can take on board sustained release biologics. So really our strategy is internal development, but we're very, um, we're very keen on having um, very good, carefully targeted collaborations. So we are talking with you know, multiple companies at present who have their own therapeutics, but they don't have the means to deliver them. So they're talking to companies like, they're talking to us, they're talking to Ravana. Uh, on the, so th that's an interesting point. On the management side, leaving the science alone for a minute, you're managing this entire operation. When And I can see how many companies might be interested in talking to you, both small startups with a molecule or big pharma with a molecule. Uh, how does that fit into what you're doing now? How do you uh, prioritize those discussions so as not to interfere with what you're doing, but also not to lose an opportunity? Well, that's right. So, so it's really down to resource management. Um, we're fortunate in, in Belfast, we have a, a large population of postdoc drug delivery experts. Okay. So we've already got three full-time postdocs um, working on Nirvana. We also have a strong academic representation. Um, and we do, have a, a, we do have the opportunity to expand beyond that. So really what we are looking for, and you can't, I mean, you, and you're right, you have to focus. So we have the in internal program, and we're looking at perhaps uh, two collaborations is I think what would be an ideal, molecule, an ideal model 
for, for Ravana. So, you know, if the opportunity arises to come beyond that or go beyond that, then that's fine. But that would be our ideal at the moment. That seems like the right number. And, and we would have the resources to do that. Um, we've got incredible support from universities in terms of equipment, lab space, and but with multiple opportunities really to expand if we wanted to. So there's a lot of flexibility there. But as a young company, you know, you really have to focus. So I think one program with perhaps two collaborations would be an ideal situation for us. Perfect, that's clear. Uh, I see you at this meeting regularly. I think you and I met at this meeting. Uh, what does this meeting do for you? I know you're a regular, you, you don't miss it. Uh, how do you feel about this meeting relative to you professionally and to your company? What, what's, what's the role? Yes, yeah, so I think you know, I've been at every single OIS bar one, <laughs> um, both AEO, ASCRS, um, but for me, I think the specialization of a retina meeting is just exactly the type of meeting I'm looking for. You know, it's industry, it's, net, it's networking, it's meeting potential investors, it's meeting colleagues. Yeah. Um, but I, but I, th I think today the meeting was absolutely top class. Yeah. And I've actually spoken to some, some physicians today at the meeting and this were so complimentary towards the high standard. Not just the presentation, but the technologies that were really presented today. So I would say this is probably one of the best. I think it's one of the best retina meetings. I agree. Attend, and the, o the OIS overall, I'm a huge supporter, a huge fan. I agree. So, yeah. I attend every one now. And the retina one, and today was incredible. The presentations, the panels, everything was great. Thank you, Michael, for taking 10 minutes with us. And uh, continued success at Rivana. Thank you. Thanks for us. Cheers. Cheers.